and gentlemen, your official introductions for this K1 battle. Sponsored by Dolphin Enterprise Personal Training. First of all, standing to my right in the red corner. This fighter is 28 years of age, standing 6 feet tall and weighing at 72.2 kilograms. He has a record of one win, three losses and no draws. He has gone back way and represents Yorkshire Martial Arts. He is a Johnny Noel! And his first place in the blue corner. This fighter is 20 years old. He stands at 5 feet and 9 inches tall and weighing at 72.2 kilograms. He has a combined record of 42 wins and 9 losses and no draws. Hales Bond leads and represents Allegiance MMA. He is Josh the Yorkshire Director. This fight is held over three, three men around. Fight four, preparing to, preparing to start. Brad Conway quickly going over the rules with fighters. We have Johnny Norwell from Yorkshire Martial Arts. He's wearing the blue trunks. And Josh, the Yorkshire gripper, Harrop from Allegiance MMA. He's wearing the yellow. And away we go. Now this is a K1 rules bout, so it's kickboxing only. Massive difference in, in uh, experience here. Despite oh, yeah. only being 20, 42 wins and 9 losses to Josh Harrop. That's a combined record. So that's kickboxing and boxing. That's a massive record. Yep. He's very composed as well. Nice and light on the yeah, toes. Yeah, you can see the experience, can't you? Yep. He's not. Oh, beautiful right nice hand left up. Nice blurry. He's really composed, actually. He looks like a great striker. Yeah, nice low kick, deep combination. Good over on right. Yeah. And again. They're hurting when they land as well. Yeah, Don't get definitely. carried away. Rocks him then. And again. Yeah. Knees. Three second rule here. Brad doesn't seem to be forcing it. There we go. Yeah. Well, K1 seems to change all the time. Three second, five second. <laughs> one knee. No knees. <laughs> the only weapons that are really missing from K1. No elbows at all. And as mentioned, a three second rule in a clinch. So you won't see flurries of, of uh, clinch work and knee attacks. That's right. Nice low kick there from the gripper. Yep. The Yorkshire gripper. The Yorkshire gripper, I love that name. It is the best fight name I've heard. <laughs> oh, nice spinning back kick. The heel landed right in the ribs. Yeah. Looked like it took the wind out of him a little bit, actually. Opens up with a flurry as well to follow it on. Yep. It looks like Josh is just saying nice and relaxed. It's almost like, you know, a proper proper tie where they just come out in the first round, take it easy. Yeah, he's doing you know, real cool. Work them out, see what your opponent's doing, where his weaknesses are. <laughs> it's just that right arm that he tends to throw with leather. Yeah. Caught a knee there. Yep. Still relaxed. Breathing though. Breathing a little heavy. Over and right again. Nice. Oh, that one shook him. Ted back. So I think Johnny's punches are looking a little bit laboured. They've got a bit of sort of muscle behind them, not as much snap. Yeah, they're long, but they push a little, don't they? Yeah. Again, pushing the punches in, not really doing the damage there. Yeah, he just needs to try and get that snap back in his shots. Odd, odd stance there from and Josh he's as well. Stepping in on it, isn't he? Stepping in like a wrestler. Yeah. Turning back, kick misses. He looks to be setting up again. You can see him sort of turning slightly side on. Obviously, a favourite of his, the turning back kick, because he's yep. essentially he favour that side on stance. Oh, oh. Nice head kick. It would have been nice if he'd set that up a little bit. Didn't quite get the connection he was looking for, did he? Spinning back fist. Jabs from Nut Johnny. That was the 10 second warning, so one or two shots left here. And there we go, into the round. So, difficult one to, to judge because, you know, um, there was success on both sides. But I just think Josh showed more of a variety of shots. He had some better quality. He definitely had better quality of shots. I think he probably landed more of them too. Then you've got to go with Josh on that. I, I, would, I would say so. That would, that would be my gut feeling towards that round. He was more composed, 
he landed the better shots, the overhand rights were good and he rocked him with a couple of those shots as well. I think Johnny's really got his work cut out in the second round. Doesn't seem to be using his range very well either. No, he seems to bring it back towards the end of the round there, so maybe uh, maybe he's, he's, he's a late starter. Maybe. <laughs> Getting ready for round two. <laughs> Just like, I hope he doesn't leave it too late. It's three rounds. <laughs> Where did, yeah, how did the fight go? Not too bad on a late start. I normally get going around about five and six. What went wrong? There was only three. <laughs> exactly. So here we go. Josh again looks very relaxed in that corner. Opening up with a tape. Johnny switching stances. Yeah. That may hint at something like a kickboxing or taekwondo background. There's certainly the turning back kicks would uh, hint at that also. Whereas I think nice overhand. Yeah, Josh looks more traditional Thai. He does definitely. Squarer stance, taking his time a little bit more. Referee Brad Conway is not uh, letting him clinch up at all these days. He's uh, he's sp splitting the clinch clinches within like a second, really, isn't yep. he? Yeah, I, I think it does come down often to referee's discretion. Definitely. Uh, if it looks as though the fighters have got an aggressive guard uh, sorry clinch game then he has three seconds that he can let it go for but if they're just going to clinch up he wants to see the action going spinning back fist Johnny's looking to push the pace here I think this is what Johnny needs to do push the pace turn it into a fight yeah he's not going to win if he just lets Josh just relax into that sort of nice relaxed tie style picking off no, ones and not twos winning the battle of skills though on the range is no, it I think he should turn it into a nasty fight he should step in heavy behind his punches and start really trying to, you know, do some damage. Rough up, Josh. Get in close. Get your shoulder into his face. That kind of thing. Yeah, let's get a little messy. Oh, nice shot there. Nice yeah. jab. Rocks uh, Josh's head back. He's having a lot more success in this round. Yeah, it looks like he's marked him up with that jab as well, actually. That was a strange-looking cross front round kick into the belly. Yeah, yeah. A couple of jabs. Pushing back, hitting the cage and then throwing them shots. Nice little single knee in there as well. He's having some success this round. Josh seems to have slowed down. Ooh, looking is, for the big shot. I was going to say, is he looking for a single shot? Is he looking to throw that one big KO shot? Yeah. And it looks like he is because he nearly went for it again then. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I've, caught a one in the mouth. The problem that you get when you're starting to weigh those shots, you muscle them in. And you do take a lot of shots in return, don't you? Yep. If you don't land that KO shot, all of a sudden you find out that you've lost the lost the uh, fight on the decision. Definitely. Well, so I'm leaning towards Johnny on this round, actually. Yeah, he's, I agree. He's, he's pulling it back this round, isn't he? Yep, yeah, I agree. He's just uh, been working hard and landed more shots. I was going to say, it, when you're hunting for a single KO, you suddenly find the other guy was concentrating on winning the fight. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> just a little damage, shots. though, Johnny. He's got blood around his nose he's got a black eye forming around the right eye as well it looks to me one of those people with that, that kind of bone structure he's, uh, he's got that type of face that marks up easily by the look of it yeah sharp cheekbones and yeah thin skin yeah thin skin <laughs> skin like wet paper over a rock <laughs> <laughs> couple of big shots whistling by there missing there we go end of the round I gotta give that to Johnny I think he did more work then I'd be tempted to agree close round Close but, round, but I think, you know, how many shots did, did Josh actually land in that, what, two, three? There, was, yeah, there wasn't a lot, you know, of clean shots that actually found them up. Yeah. I think, you know, uh, Johnny had some really good flurries with shots landing high up on Josh's uh, head. He definitely landed better kicks. I mean, they weren't powerful, strong kicks, but they were clean. They were on target. There was more of them landing as well. I, I would tend to give him the edge. Our lovely ring girl, Charlotte, Charlie Bell. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a view. It's the greatest job in the world. <laughs> Just though, for those that don't know, we obviously sit cage side. Just about middle of the height of the cage is our head height. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Getting ready to start round three. It's all to play for. Yeah, I reckon it's about one round each at the minute. Yep. 
I think Josh needs to go back to his tactics for the first round. Twos and threes. Johnny's pushing the pace. Josh returns with a good combination. Ooh, setting up that big shot again, though. Yeah. Josh lands the heavier shots, but he doesn't land that many of them compared to what John's landing. No, that's right. Johnny's pushing forward again. It's the right thing to do. I think that's the right thing. Yeah. From the round kick to the head. Oh, jumping, spinning back in. <laughs> Rolling to bat. I think everyone should just be chanting now. Tornado kick, tornado kick, tornado <laughs> kick. <laughs> that would be awesome. A matrix kick off the cage. Yes. <laughs> if you've got a cage, you've got to use it. Yep. So you often find as well, cage for kickboxing. Fighters can find it odd. There's not the same bounce in the ropes. You can't lean back over the ropes and bounce back off with your shots. It's almost like just hitting a dead space. That's right. Long front kick, just missing its mark. Yeah, his guard's non-existence when he does that. <laughs> Maybe Josh should be looking to, to parry those kicks and throw the shot down the middle. Getting the flurry in. Josh might just be doing enough in this round. I don't think Johnny's landed as many shots as he did do in round two. No, most of his shots have been blocked. Nice low kick. Yeah, Missed with a flurry. Yeah, it was a nice block then straight into the low kick. Rocked him. Hit the uh, right on his heels. heels. Yeah. The Fred, the reverse Fred Flintstone, we'll call that. <laughs> Josh should have really followed that up, I think. Yeah. Although, you know. Oh, there was some solid left hook. Then it really made a noise. Yeah. It was like the sound of a wet salmon hitting a marble kitchen top. <laughs> nice analogy. Josh starting to pull away a little bit here. I think so, definitely. He's blocking Johnny's attacks and countering. With Most of Johnny's kicks are falling short as well. Yeah. Johnny's style has gone more karate through the rounds, hasn't it? Yep. Oh! <laughs> Spinning back fist and follow on with a hook. Oh, he got caught hard though then. Yeah, a couple of punches straight on the kisser. Nice round kick and punch combination. It is nice after after three or four amateur fights to see people punch each other in the head, don't you think? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I, do, I do, regardless of what happens in martial arts, fans like people punching each other in the head. Definitely. I love it. Oh, nice, nice turning back first. And a bit of showboating for the crowd. Yeah, some nice showboating. <laughs> he knows he's won this round, I think. I think so. Oh, you know, big shot. There you go, end of the round. Good fight. Enjoyed it. Nice. Um, Sierra and Chatfield on his way to cage to announce the winner. Okay, the scores are being collated. Judges have had to work on this one. Not an easy call, I don't think. Relatively close fight. Fighters gathered to the centre of the cage. And in comes Aaron now with the result. Good result that. Close fight obviously, a majority decision rather than unanimous. So obviously two judges have scored the win for Josh Harrop.
and one squad did a draw. I think at the end of the day, the right decision.